Hey guys, welcome to another Salty Strikes Fishing Adventure. I am Chris and this is Kim. And today, uh, Kim really wanted to go back out and see if we can't get into some mangrove snapper up on the jetty. So that was kind of the plan for today. Uh, we got six dozen shrimp and uh, I, I got a couple of little Menhaden uh, to chop up too. Uh, we couldn't find any live bait other than the, the shrimp. There was no, you know, croakers or pinfish or, yeah, I couldn't find any of that. So, uh, we headed out there and then uh, we got into some mangroves, which you'll see. And Kim made a suggestion on of a move and put me on a fish that it's been on my bucket list for a long time. I've been waiting to catch one of these things for quite a while. So if you want to check that out, stick around and see. And just hooking, came up with some shrimp on her two out circle hook. Let's send it down. Can you get hooked up? Oop, Kim's on her first mangrove already. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, he jumped down on the thing. He looks a little small. We'll just let him go. He's a little small. We'll Joy. No, he probably just ate my shrimp. Yeah, you got me. Do you see this time? Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh that might be a keeper, yeah. Oh got a eleven and a half inch. Yeah, and I'll say it many times on this channel, we like to keep them close to 12. They don't have to be right at 12, but you know, 10 inches is a little small for us. The fillets are, are just so tiny. You gotta use like two fillets just to make a sandwich. I'm trying to drop my line and Ken's already pulled another one up. You got one too, Oh. Uh, See, I let my I let mine go. My I set my line down, and then they just come snatch it right off the hook, just like that. Man, when when you ha when you're fishing for mangrove snapper, you got to have your rod in your hand. Yeah, we'll check them. No, he's small, baby. Kim's hooked up. What you got there? No, I think he got me. Uh, he looks kind of little. Kim's okay, got another. What you got? Oh, the mangrove. Oh man, he. Oh. Got a, oh, this one seems decent. Oh, that might be a keeper. Yeah, this one's uh, almost 12, so he's going in the box. And uh, mango snapper are five per person, 10 inch minimum. Just 
cut, baby. Decent? Oh. <laughs> That's all right, baby. Got something? Little guy. Me too. This one's decent. This one would be a keeper. Oh. A little bumpier. He's uh no, he's short. This guy's going back. That might be alright. Kim baited her shrimp on that one. She got that on video. He's right at 10. We'll let him go. This one's dead. It's easier for you to bait him up. Close enough, good. Got one, got one. Uh, another little guy. Need some bigger ones to come through here. All right. Huh, poor fish. Pretty. Look at those colors. This is a good one. It's a nice one. Oh, well that's definitely a, oh, this is a nice one. Nice mangrove. He is, oh man, 13 inch mangrove. Be nice to get a couple more of these. Is this a big grouper? Oh my God, there's a big grouper right below us. Got a decent one. Feels like another keeper. Maybe he's kind of, eh. He's borderline. Oh, uh, yeah, he's like 10 and a half. Got another one. I think he's another little guy though. Yeah. Man, we are almost out of shrimp too. These little guys have been tearing us up. Got another one. This one feels decent. You keep her? Yep. Yeah, uh, nah. Nah, that guy's a little small. What you got, baby? Oh, that's a keeper. So like close to 11 and a half, almost 12. This guy's decent. That might be a keeper. Let's see. Got another keeper. Something nice. Uh, oh, he's right at 10. Keep that thing barked like a. Oh man, that's a nice keeper. There we go. There we go. Did you hear that thing? It barked like Chloe. Yeah. Yeah. 
And he's just a hair under 12, so he's going in the box. We've kept five so far, so that's a one man limit. So we're allowed 10 total between the two of us. Nice. Oh, is that a keeper? Oh man, looks like it might be. I know. Ow, only oh, got me. Let's see what we got here. Uh, he's just right at just a smidget over 10. Kim wants to make a little bit of change of plan. Um, oh, you are all out of shrimp, and all we have is a few that the men hadn't left. And uh, you know, we can. We're gonna, I think we're going to take it out just right outside the, uh, the inlet here and see if we can't get on a couple sharks. That'll be a nice way to wrap the day up. Well, I'll see if I can't find any signs of something here, and then we'll probably just stop and drop. Man, it is a hot one out here today. So it's nice just to sit down for a minute, throw some lines out, and kind of rest. <laughs> Got some. What do we got? What do we got, baby? Oh! Oh no, it's a hammerhead! Oh my god, get it, get it, Kimber. Oh man, I almost lost it. Yeah. This is my first hammerhead. Scalloped hammerhead. Man. I've been wanting to scratch a hammerhead off my bucket list for quite a while now. He's a little guy, but he is adorable, but pretty cool. This is not a greater hammerhead. They don't grow up to be the big ones. This is a scalloped head. All right, bye, buddy. Sweet, I've been wanting to get one of those for a while now. I almost lost him because he popped off the hook right as Kim was hitting him. So, it'd be nice to get a, like a greater hammerhead, but man, the scalloped hammerheads are just as cool. Don't speed. They'll get you. That guy was hauling butt through. I hollered at him to slow down. FWC and the sheriff's officer are always out here. So, you know, follow the rules and, you know, they'll keep us safe and you keep everybody else safe and keep the wildlife safe. You know, the reason why they have no, the no wake zones is because there's a lot of manatees and a lot of uh, dolphins that hang around this area and they cannot get out of your way fast enough. Um, the channels are too tight. And so it's for their safety and or like the safety of others too, but just remember that. Thanks for joining us on that Salty Strikes Fishing Adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we got into a mess of mangrove snapper. There was a lot of little ones, uh, you know, just tearing through our bait. We went through six dozen shrimp in probably an hour and a half or so, something like that. And uh, we had uh, black margates that were chomping out down and stuff. But you know, there were some tarpons swimming around there, there and everything, but they were by, I even looked down the water. I saw a goliath grouper probably about like that big. And uh, I threw a chunk of menhaden down there and didn't want nothing to do with it. So, you know, I couldn't find any live bait. The, you know, we tried, but it is what it is. And I didn't feel like going out and fishing for it all this morning. I didn't want to waste time. I wanted to get on the early bite. And uh, we got on them pretty quick. Uh, you know, loaded up. I think we got five or six mangrove snapper. And then, you know, Kim said, hey, let's just, uh, you know, oh, we're out of shrimp. And I had a few of those little menhaden left. And she's like, well, let's go check it out and see if we can't find, get a shark. And lo and behold, we weren't there like maybe 10 minutes and, uh, you know, hook up on that little hammerhead. That was pretty awesome. But that's been on my bucket list. You know, I've caught lots and lots of bottom heads and all, all kinds of other sharks hooked up. And, uh, but that was my very first hammerhead. You know, I was pretty stoked about that. I'm just happy to, that I can check that off my, my list. Um, it would have been nice if I could have got a bigger hammerhead, but hey, I'll take it. Um, it was a cute little guy, uh, but you know, they're pretty cool creatures. 
So it's a scalloped hammerhead. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, if you want to come fishing with me, uh, visit saltystrikesfishing.com and uh, book a charter. And uh, if you want to support the channel, you know, we got hats for sale on the website too. So, and uh, if you want to stick around for more Salty Strikes fishing adventures, the subscription button is down there, the notification bell, all that jazz. Um, hope you join us. Um, so until we see you next time, guys, stay salty.